Hi everyone, it's Angela. We are gonna to talk today about getting your family members connected to Seesaw before the end of the school year. I have three tips for you, so here we go. Tip number one, invite families to Seesaw if you haven't done so yet. So this is really easy to do. When you are signed into your Seesaw class as a teacher, on the bottom right, you'll see a button that says add families. Go ahead and click that button then you will have two options. You can print paper invites to send home with students, or you can view a sample email that you would copy and paste into any email service that you use to invite families electronically. On the family end, they are going to download the free Seesaw Family app, or they can go to the website app.seesaw.me and they simply choose I'm a family member. The information that you send home will walk them through all of these steps. It's really simple. All right, let's talk about step two. We wanna make sure if you've already invited families that if there's a few family members that aren't yet connected, I'm gonna show you how to see who those family members are. Step two, see who is not yet connected to your Seesaw class. So again, you'll just sign in as a teacher Click in the bottom right on Families. This time you're going to want to choose Print Paper Invites. And when you do that, you are going to scroll to the second page of the PDF. This is going to show you who is already connected to your class. So simply print the invites for students with no connected family member yet and send that invite home. All right, step three. Families can download the entire contents of their child's portfolio for free. This is really important to know if you're using free Seesaw because you're gonna to want to let families know how they can get this content. So let's look into step three. Step three, families can download their child's Seesaw portfolio for free. As a reminder, this is a tip for those of you using free Seesaw. If you're using Seesaw for schools, families have access to their child's portfolio as long as they are still associated with a school. So let's look at how to do this. A family member must sign in on the web at app.seesaw.me. Because they're going to be downloading content, you want to have it in a space where that's actually able to happen in a downloaded file. Once they sign into their account, they'll tap in the upper left-hand corner on their profile icon. Then they click the gear icon, click account settings, scroll down and click on download journal archives. Click on the download journal button for the journal that they want to download. And here's what they get. Of course, you're gonna be using Seesaw all the way through the last day of school this year. And as soon as you archive your class, families are going to get an email notification giving them directions for how to download their child's portfolio for free. Again, this is really important if you're using free Seesaw. As a reminder, if you are using Seesaw for Schools or are interested in learning more about Seesaw for Schools, you can visit our website here and we will talk about how families in a Seesaw for Schools setting have access to all of their child's work. All right, Seesaw teachers, you're set to get all of your family members connected. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at help.seesaw.me.